Sports bar Schultz Garten has a full crowd, but tonight they aren't watching sports. If you want to become president of the United States, you got to let both people speak. So first, let me speak. Instead, they're watching the latest Republican presidential debate, an event hosted by Democrat-leaning Burnt Orange Report. Its publisher, K.T. Musselman, says it's a fun way to keep tabs on the conservative competition. It's to help keep people excited and uh, to have them engaged in preparation for next year's campaign because you know, we don't know for sure you know, who's going to come out of this process yet. The University Democrats co-sponsored the event. Its PR director, Holly Heinrich, says it's important to keep track of the Republican positions. That was, that was a really interesting event. That was a great way to learn more about each of the GOP candidates and learn what their stances are. I think a lot of us really came out with an even stronger sense, we're glad we're Democrats. And the University Democrats aren't the only politically active group on campus. Is the Constitution not to protect your own civil liberties? <laughs> the libertarian group, Young Americans for Liberty, both reaches out to students and trains them to run for office. Coordinator Caitlin Bates wants students to see the fun in politics. I think that if people realize that politics can be fun and that getting informed can be fun, they would probably get informed, you know, be more inclined to get involved. And how do the libertarians stay involved? By dressing as colonial zombies and marching to the Capitol in a founding father's zombie crawl. If the politicians aren't going to use their brains, we will use their brains for dinner! Uh. But zombie student Jackson Bradford says it's about more than eating brains. It's showing what we believe in. It's showing a move towards the Constitution is skewed now. I don't know how obvious it is, but uh, people will be talking about it, you know. And after the zombies marched past several other events, including a fancy sorority party, people should be talking about it. Proving that political activism can be more fun than you might think. For Dispatch 40, I'm Andrew Moore.